Hi, today I wanted to go over a couple of uh, wedding stories, if you will. Everybody knows about the wedding dress, but the, the gentleman uh, should hold his own. So, uh, just want to show you a couple of different ideas and thoughts that people came in with and how, uh, why we decided to go where we went. Some people know exactly what they want and that's great. And some people, if they've got an idea as to what they want and you want to fine tune that and make sure that if they are, uh, they're on the wrong track, you do want to let them know. But these four stories are very nice and I wanted to share them with you. First, first one is this great, uh, this gentleman wanted to get married on the beach. So uh, we wanted to do a suit that was light enough and he doesn't want to wear the jacket so it's basically uh this is a gray uh it's a barbarous fabric made by luigi bianchi they've been around since 1911 uh this got a, some white movement in it so with the white shirt andre it will look amazing and so he will not be wearing uh the jacket but he is wearing a double-breasted vest so, and it covers three quarters instead of half on a single breast. So it's a little dressier. And so, and afterwards, of course, he can wear it as a suit with the right tie, with a proper, say, a wool tie in gray. This can work year round. So this uh, was kind of half and half. The gentleman knew what he wanted, this style, but to find the palette that was complimentary to him, and uh, I think this is a home run. The other gentleman who came in had an appointment and he was a bit early. And as I was passing him by and finishing with another appointment, I said, what do you see in your head? Which is what I always ask. And he says, ox blood palette or the color. Drove me crazy. I knew we had it, but uh, this is, this will not work for everyone, but for this gentleman, it will it will be phenomenal uh, with his heel. This is the color, ox blood. He's doing it with a uh, single breasted vest, five buttons. A taller gentleman, and inside we just uh, it's very plain. The, the the piping and everything wanted to match it all together. We didn't want to have a lot of contrast because the statement is the whole uh, palette. So this is a story where the guy knew exactly what he wanted and all I had to do was find the right color as he saw it in his head. Um, this one is one of my good friends, been shopping here for at least over 10, 11 years. And uh, he, since he's moved to San Francisco, and he flew here, uh, bringing his bride to be. And before we had talked about a gray suit for him a couple of years back. And uh, when he when they came in, I asked to see the picture of the of the gown. And I looked at it, and I looked at my friend and said, hey, "You know, you are not wearing what we talked about." So, but he's in San Francisco, so he doesn't dress up all that much. Uh, but he does dress well, what I call casual sartorial. Uh, so we took a blue tuxedo fabric. Uh, it's, a, it's a light, um, it's a light blue. It's, it's the one that has been around for a long, long time. It's not the one that is a fad. So it's, it's light fabric. It's 225 grams. But uh, because of mohair, is in it it's got 16 percent mohair so it drapes as if it was a 350 gram weight or it gives you a nice dressy you know look now we did it with this in a double a breasted uh and afterwards you can wear this as a suit obviously afterwards wear it without a tie wear the jacket by itself with a pair of jeans will look good you know uh, and and again this is a barbarous fabric the burgundy lining, iridescent. Uh, I think this came out great. 
the pants on its own would be a phenomenal business casual look. So very excited to see him uh, next week flying here. And uh, uh, I want to do this to this video before these guys pick the stuff up. So uh, the last one, definitely not the least, is a proper tuxedo. Uh, again, you've got to have more hair in your fabric. Don't forget that. If you're going uh, to a store where they don't know what they're talking about or uh, you should know. I usually recommend Grosgrain and not satin. Uh, it's a dressier look and uh, it looks, it, it's very nice. It's, it's better than satin, I, I think. So we did, uh, again, it's a Barbaros fabric. Uh, on the inside, we just did black on black, which is beautiful. And then we did that red with the red stitch that is used to go on the name. And one button peak and one button shawl are the classics. Uh, and uh, other people might want to get something else, but I always feel that most important thing, get one button shawl or one button peak. There's a reason things become the classics that look great. And our peak, uh, a, a color, is um, it goes to the, the size of the shoulder dictates uh, the size of the peak. So it's all about proportionality. So these are the four little stories and I am sure you can make your own little story when you're ready uh, to do it. All the best, see you next time.